Hey everybody, welcome into Blue Raider Insider. I'm Chip Walters and glad to have Director of Athletics Chris Massaro. And Chris, you know, with everything that's out there, uh, with all different sources, whether it's uh, the mainstream media, social media, whatever, a lot of times it's great just to get back to the source and find out from the horse's <laughs> mouth what's going on. So uh, this is an opportunity for us to do that. Yeah, we're excited about this and we want to do these with some regularity, like a once a month kind of deal where we give an update on what's happening in our department and we hear it straight from us. Well, football season obviously is coming up and we'll talk about that in just a minute, but one of the hot topics uh, always is facilities and the, the arms race in, right, in college right. athletics. And a couple of years ago, there was an announcement for plans for uh, up to about a hundred million dollar facility upgrade. Kind of give us a, an update of where we are yeah, right now. Yeah, it's still progressing and, and let me back up a little bit. That, mm. Chip, I think it's obvious to everybody when you travel around and see what other schools are doing that, that we've fallen behind in, in our facilities. And so that is an important priority, and it has been the last three, four years to, to try to develop a total and comprehensive plan. So this is a really ambitious plan. It's a $100 million plan, and we would like to bite it all off at one time if that's humanly possible. So it would be about a three- to four-year construction period but to have it all with one designer, one big project, all those kind of things uh, to happen. So we're swinging for some fences, trying to secure some funding. We've got about uh, 35 million of the 100 million in tow right now, so we could certainly break off and start doing some stages. But I'd rather kind of take a couple months here, a few months, and swing for some more fences to see if we can get better funding. We're in a silent phase, a quiet period, and fundraising right now where we're approaching people to gauge their interest. Uh, if, that, uh, if that is successful, then, then we'll be able to, to kind of do it all at once. So, so I'm excited about it. I think it's a great plan. The coaches think it's a great plan. Uh, it's going to transform all of, all of our campus and I think have a significant impact on Murfreesboro as well. Yep. So just uh, I, I, from our fans' point of view, hang in there. Uh, just know we're working on it. We recognize the need. Uh, Coach Stock was right that we are behind on our facilities. Uh, it's important to Coach McDevitt, Coach Ensel, and it's a priority for the department. Well, speaking of coaches and facilities, let's talk about Coach Toman and Coach Breedens because they've yeah. got some things that are coming up in those facilities yeah. right away. Yeah, one of the things that you look at, uh, particularly let's start with our softball, is that Last year we were able to install a new backstop which with, without poles and, and it made a big difference in terms of spectator viewing. And this year for baseball and softball we're going to have new Dectronics video boards. And they're scheduled to go in in December uh, so they'll be ready for the season. I'm excited about it. Again, we're enhancing the, the fan experience at, at these ballparks. Softball needs a lot of attention. It's the it's the facility that, that probably has the most need uh, in terms of competition and, and upgrades. So, so we're excited to be able to kind of add different elements every year to softball and now uh, to baseball as well. A couple of other programs that have had great success that are right. getting some upgrades. Uh, golf uh, is going to get a new facility yeah. at the Grove uh, over in Arrington. And tennis is going to have some upgrades now that Middle Tennessee Boulevard is complete, the outdoor courts on campus. Yeah, and let me start with golf at the Grove. is a the, the, the fabulous hitting facility. We've raised the money for it, Chip, and, and it's going to be great. Uh, so we're in the final stages of dotting the I's and crossing the T's with the contract with the Grove. Uh, it's going to be a difference maker for our golf program. Us and our partnership with the Grove helps set our golf program apart, and so this just adds another element to it. Courts were damaged with the Middle Tennessee Boulevard construction, and so we're looking at maybe some combination of courts here on campus and courts at Old Fort Park. Uh, we've got about $2.2 million into that project right now, just trying to figure out kind of what the best strategies are for it. So, so we'll have some news coming shortly. So we've had yeah. a lot of facility activity going on. I will say this. I did read a, a newspaper story earlier this week uh, uh, from that was about a proposed new tennis facility at another yeah. state university, and they were comparing yeah. to get their facility in tennis to the level of Middle Tennessee's. They were, they were, particularly our indoor facility, yeah. and, and that's another example where that there was some frustration with that facility as well, that 
over the timetable, but we held firm. We wanted eight courts, uh, got it indoor, and the, the partnership with the city has worked beautifully. So, so we're we're trying to follow those models and and to not build these things just haphazardly. That facilities are they're twenty to thirty year uh, commitments basically. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we do it right. All right, let's talk a little football and fan experience at yeah. Floyd Stadium. And we've had a, about a three-week run here of, of announcements of things that are going to be happening in Floyd Stadium this year. Yeah, I'm really excited about some of the elements that we're bringing into Floyd Stadium. And in my 15 years here, this has probably been the most significant offseason that we've had in terms of, of gathering everybody together with the common goal of of raising our attendance. I think when we all looked around at the attendance of the championship football game to say, hey, we need to do a lot better. And so one of the one of the things that we brought in, Chip, is in, in partnership with our fermentation program is our craft beer garden. And that's going to be on the, in, on the ground level in the end zone, right behind the goalposts of the south end zone. Uh, fermentation will, will have a part of it. Uh, our program, along with Hop Springs Brewery, where we're going to have four or five craft beers there every week, and one of them will change out. It'll be the beer of the week, and, and it's going to be opponent named. Uh, I think the first beer that we have, because we play Tennessee State, is going to be here, kitty, kitty. So <laughs> trying to do some fun things uh, with that, and, and we really developed it off the, the sounds and what they do down their right field lounge. We have to do more than just sell an aluminum seat in the bleachers. So we're, we're more into the experience. So the beer garden is a huge element that we're adding. But we've also tried to spice up the family fun zone uh, that's existed in our, our, in our north end zone. So we're going to have the face painter come back. We're going to have more inflatables. We're going to have picnic benches there. So people with small children, there's places to go inside our stadium to be able to, to, to watch the games. What we want to do is to be able to bring... They're calling for tickets right now. <laughs> I hope they are. That'd be great. Uh, the, what I would like to do is uh, bring our tailgating. Basically, we've got some of the best tailgating that I've ever been around. And to bring some of those elements outside the stadium, inside the stadium. One of the things that I'm probably most proud of is, is this recreation of the Blue Zoo. As we all know, four or five years ago, the Blue Zoo was active, the student section. Well, it was great, and uh, we've got some students on campus, Kobe Herman in particular, that's really taken this on, and he's going to to regenerate the, the Blue Zoo. It's already on target to be the largest mm -hmm. student organization on campus, and so we're, we're excited about that. I think an active student section is a key to our success. Yep, Fan Day also revamped. Uh, gonna, it is. going to be a different, yeah. uh, different feel to it this year. The August 24th. And it's going to be after convocation, university convocation, where historically that the president has his picnic for new students. Well, we decided, hey, let's combine the two events. So it's a combined event. It's going to be a huge crowd. It's going to be a great gala. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be a lot cooler under the lights. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited about it. So it's going to be a, a tremendous fan day. So we're trying to take some of the things that we've done well and make them a little bit better, and some of the things that we haven't done so well, try to get them off the ground. And like we say, we're starting these sparks, we're trying to turn these sparks into fires, and we'll need everybody's help to help us do that. All right, as we wrap up today, let's t get a couple of basketball notes, because I tell you, you're going to need a program this year for, for, for both the men and the women. A lot of excitement, because I think you're going to see major jumps with both of these programs this year. Yeah, and uh, let's start with the women. I mean, that there's two McDonald's All-Americans. Uh, there's there's this influx of talent that's that's happened uh, with us, and and so they're poised to really be good. And they've got a, a great schedule. I would tell people to to mark the Kentucky opener, our home opener against Kentucky, because that's going to be a great game. And and. For the folks to come out, and the combination season ticket's going to be a great buy this year because our two newcomers in men's basketball that were transfers from a year ago are really impacting practice last year and this year uh, with C.J. Jones and, and DeAndre Dishman. So there's going to they they're going to be just a lot better with those two guys and what they're going to play. Let alone some of the other people that we've recruited and brought in as junior college and freshman. So both programs are going to be so much better. 
and uh, we're excited because, man, I, I, as I look at our sports seasons, we've got a lot of teams that are poised to be better than they were last year, so that always excites me. Yeah, 11 new guys on the men's team counting uh, Crump, and uh, Coach McDevitt said he's going to put, like a football coach, put tape across their forehead <laughs> with their name so he can uh, know who it is. They're, re they're getting ready to head to uh, Costa Rica for a, a foreign yeah. tour, which that, that teams that make those tours – typically have an opportunity to have great seasons. There's, there's really a benefit off of it is, number one, with all these newcomers that they get to know each other. And Ten the, practices, the, too. Go yeah, on. and then the additional practices that you have uh, that, that no one else is able to do, and it's ten practices. And, and so, so Nick's had the ability to work with these guys more intensely than he would in a normal summer. You can do this once every four years, so it worked out perfectly for us. But I think as much as anything, the bonding that's going to occur, because uh, it's get, right now it's a, it's a little bit of a collection of individuals, and through these common experiences, you start to develop that team. And so that was important. And the six-man club, uh, was they're, they're the ones that funded it. Uh, it's important to our basketball program, and thank you, fans, that mm -hmm. helped us along that way. All right. Well, football season is well under 30 days now, and uh, we appreciate you watching uh, this edition of the Blue Raider Insider. And like Chris said, we're going to be doing this on a regular basis. If you got topics you want to hear about, just kind of let us know, and we'll be happy to uh, to address those. And be sure for your everyday Blue Raider news, go to GoBlueRaiders.com and. Anything else you want to add here at the end? I just go blue and buy your buy your football tickets. The more people in the stands, it helps us, and we're going to have a lot of fun at our games this year. All right. Thanks for being with us today. Middle Tennessee, our town, our team.